Hey there, welcome to exercise number 11 and congratulations if you have completed all the last 10 exercises. This exercise is very very important and who knows it well and good. Okay, but this is one of the very important exercise. Okay, so what this exercise is all about, let's understand. Create a dictionary similar to this i mean this picture i have shown you here right so you are creating a dictionary called birthday for example okay and there you are keeping a name called john and you are keeping a date of birth okay march 8 1991 similar way you are entering three data three to four up to you but take some three data different data so today is april 27th 2021 okay today's date so you want to check how many days passed by for example march so march is already gone i am in april it's almost like 50 days is already gone okay today is april 27th okay and it was on march 8th right so how many days passed by from the last birthday of john you have to find out so you will say 50 days or whatever days right if you minus it that you need to find out the difference and number of days to wait let's say somebody's birthday is coming on may 7th so today is april 27th so another 10 10 days or 9 days right so after 10 days the birthday is going to come so how will you find that difference is such a great learning that you will get through this video so let's get started and after completing the exercise please do mark yes okay i am literally looking at how many people are closing it uh, one by one they are completing and they are marking it yes so i can have a track and i can at the end i can count as to who has completed the maximum exercise and there will be some surprise okay so with that let's get started and if you are a new new visitor kindly click on the subscribe button for more such contents and many of you who have got the job many many congratulations so our videos would definitely lead you to that path so with that let's get started and design this simple questions but very complicated so let's see it let's start okay now for that i have already created a dictionary variable birthday okay new dictionary of string comma string okay dictionary string so both are string john and key and value both are string so i have created a dictionary already having three different data okay i have created now what i want i want the i want to go through uh, the loop one by one okay i want to go through the loop so i'll use a for each loop so i have demonstrated all this and i have explained in very detail what is a dictionary how this for each loop how it all works okay so i will not repeat myself but again you will be able to understand if you know the concept so here what i'm going to do birthday getting it so I'm simply taking the name of the dictionary very good then I'm going to say dot keys so if I do, if I say dot keys means what's happening only the names will appear mark whatever the John mark keys these are the keys right so this loop will is getting only the names okay fine and here this is a string kind of a data so let me put it so this is basic this is basic okay now first thing is this data if you saw the dictionary the date is in string format getting it so the date is in the string format so what i should do i have to convert that to date and time format so in last uh, exercise i have shown you using date time dot parse i have converted the string to date and time okay if you recall this time i am going to use a very little slightly different method so what i am doing this particular date which is in string format i want to change it so after changing uh, some variable should carry it right so i will create a variable called dob okay and this is supposed to be a date time so simply browse for types type system dot date time it will come select that okay so date and time done so what i will do it here i will say dob and i'm going to show you a different method what is that the easiest way is also if you do not recall 
date time dot parse the other way at least you can recall the convert right convert dot to date time even this is another way to do it getting it now what i want to convert this particular data so for that how you should write so this is a dictionary right so i will say dictionary name which is nothing but birthday is the dictionary name how do i know birthday is proper or not always click on keep the variable panel open okay so that you can always refer while typing any variable name so it's correct right birthday that's fine lower case upper case that is not a problem but spelling should be proper birthday okay and then now the key value is there in the item right so dictionary in the bracket if i write the key name then the value comes automatically that is the basic concept of dictionary which i have already explained so here simply i am writing item so that way you know if i say john what is his birthday if i say mark so automatically one by one all these dates will come the values will come okay so that much we have understood let's have a check everybody is interested to have a check isn't it is the dates are coming properly or not so we should always do a check fine so we so let's run it and understand so it should show me all the dates one by one okay so you can see the first date has come 38 1991 okay second date has come 57 it was in march okay it has automatically done that okay fine then 11 09 1991 1991 november 09 1991 so all the three date of birth are coming just by writing convert dot to date time okay this is done but the problem is everything has got 1991 uh, right their year of birth so all our friends three friends so 1991 1991 1991 so i i don't want that year i want it because this year it will be 2021 right november 9 2021 the birthday is going to come so somehow i have to replace this with this year so last exercise was all about that hope you remember so for this let's use assign activity if you don't remember not to worry because we are going to repeat same thing so here i will what i will do i'll create another variable where the year will be changed from 1991 to 2021 the current year whichever year you you are going to see the video in the future maybe okay so you are going to put the current year into that date of birth so for that i am simply writing cdob meaning current date of birth okay just for your understanding you should give proper names but i am for understanding purpose i am simply saying cdob okay current dob so for current dob i have to write something right how would i convert how do i replace that 1991 everything should remain intact only that 1991 should be replaced with 2021 the year whichever year you you are in right or which you will be in the future whoever sees my video so in such case what should i do what one should do do you know so i have to put a new format now so for that simply remember new so if you remember new automatically everything will come date time time okay so new date time function i have used now in the bracket here i told you it has to be in the year first is year month date this is the standard format that you have to write while using this syntax okay so new date time first i have to write year so which year i want current right so simply i will say date time i have explained it in the previous exercise pretty well date time dot today dot i need the year whatever today is its year i want okay the syntax and the formula would remain the same then i'll put comma then next is month so month is there in dob right date of birth containing month dot i will say month because dob is a date time variable so i can simply write dob dot month okay then i can write dob dot days okay fine so year month day so three things i have got but it's in a new format because the year is coming from today's year okay so i am going to replace it so this is done now what is the error why there is error cannot assign system date time to system string 
okay cdob cdob should not be string it should be date time correct because it's going to hold the date time done okay now the error should go let's see your message box is it coming properly what do you think so let's always check it while you are designing anything always try to check it so cdob so let's see how the value is coming so now all those data whatever we had let me run it i don't want to debug and take more time so let me run it okay so now instead of 1991 all this it should showing 308 so march 08 okay month and 2021 1991 is now replaced the cdob variable is containing new data now getting it so i got the new data with this year so i can compare it so for that i'll use a if activity okay and cdob is containing in correct format this year format right so i will use that variable and if it is less than less than then i will say date time dot today if it is less than whatever date is today if it is less than that for example today is april 27th so march is less than that right i mean march was back a month back right so cdob if it is less than that that means the date has already passed for example march let's say march i am in april so today is april and march was a past so march is less than april okay so if that that happens then what you do you show a message box that these many days have passed so how will you calculate these many days have passed for that i am using assign activity okay i want to calculate how many numbers have passed for example the march 8 the first data is march 8 so how many days have already passed i mean april 27th if you generally calculate it will be somewhere around 50 50 plus days okay so let's see it so for that what should i write now i am i want the count of days right i need the count of days so i'll create another variable saying <coughs> i'll say count of days okay and remember the formula which i'm going to use requires you to use integer 64 because it's a long value so you have to use integer 64 because date time everything is there it's going to subtract and find the difference for you so it has to have integer 64 this is another new learning for you getting it so we got it so till now all i have to do is count number of days so count of days is the variable so let me use the variable count of days which is integer 64 kind of a variable okay now i have to write the value okay so how, there is an expression for it and this is the how to find the difference between two dates getting it so the expression i am going to teach you is all about how to find the difference between two dates okay so for that what you should write so how can i remember this so there is something called date diff do you see date difference right so date diff is the function that i'll be using so date diff very simple then in bracket you have to write date interval so how you want to differentiate by days how many months are left how many years is left what you want to calculate right sometimes you want to calculate number of days left number of months left so i want to calculate number of days so i am saying date interval dot day comma the format is simple date one comma date two so whatever your date is you can minus it but here i cannot write date one day two because there is no variable called date one day two but as a syntax i am telling you date difference date interval dot day or month whatever you need comma first date second date what is the difference you want to find out okay okay so here what i will do i will keep the, the date the date of birth is there in cdob right cdob is the variable which is containing the date of birth okay comma current date current date is how do you find out you simply write date time dot today 
okay so it's going to do the minus between the cdob which is containing the 19 uh, from 1991 we have changed it to 2021 right so march 8 2021 so march 8 2021 today is april 27 so it is going to differentiate both of them and going to show you the result okay so let's see how many if this is working or not let's just do a test for this one okay so let me quickly run it i did not write the entire code but let me just test it before i proceed so what happened c dob date time dot today okay let's run it again where it why it did not execute <coughs> let's see okay 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 sorry i did not put a message box right i have to put a message box to see that isn't it so so let's put a message box and simply say just try it okay this might become slightly mind boggling but don't worry this is easy count of days okay i want to see the variable so let me run it okay so you can see 50 days exactly 50 days so march 8th okay uh, is the count is proper march was 31st 31 days right so how many uh, 2021 22 plus 23 plus 27 okay so 50 days so it has done the calculation okay similar way all I have to do is if something is uh, for example the second date is on may 7th right so again same the same code applies and you can customize you can put a message box show that exact proper message all that you can do my goal was to teach you the code and the logic okay so let's run it and let's see for all the data so the first day was march so march is already passed by so you can put a proper message okay for john uh 50 days has passed from since his last birthday you can put all that message okay and the next one um is saying minus 10 it's not say minus 10 it should say just 10 um because it's on may 7 so how do you fix that if it is saying minus 10 and this one is saying minus 196 november 09191 it's saying minus so how do you fix it do you know so to fix it this is very easy all you have to do is in the cdob right which is falling on november for this one so in the then box i am going to move it and put it at the end so that way it will become positive simple trick we know right so click on okay so this is done save let's run it one final time i'm not uh, clearing you know making that message boxes and all that okay so you understood the logic so 50 days 10 days left for this one for mark okay mark happy birthday advance happy birthday and wills another 196 days left for his birthday getting it so we have designed a very sophisticated logic which is going to work it can tell you how many more days left so you can start your countdown for mark now another 10 days left okay so this is what it is guys lot of logic can be built if you know how to write the syntax and the code okay if you know then everything is possible thank you guys for watching and please do subscribe please do like please do share thank you so much bye bye